Oh shit! Damn! What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I'm Ember the Blaze. And I'm Glacier the Iceborne. And we're Reaction Dragons. And if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Just do it! Thanks so much for the support guys. Now what's on the menu for today, Glacier? We're here at the final chapter guys. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows part one. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one. We are finally here at the climax of this entire long seven year story essentially. Um, I can only imagine, you know, how hard it must have been for the people watching this in real time having to wait at least one or two years in between each movie uh the good thing is like the last i think the last three or four movies of this entire franchise are directed by the same director david yates so at least it's gonna have some stylistic continuity because i know that before they kind of just had different directors directing each chapter not taking away from any of the chapters are all great but you definitely get more especially now like the stakes are higher than ever and the movies are getting more darker it's cool to have like one director behind the whole you know, mm. last four movies because it kind of feels just like a like a four hour or like almost like an eight hour movie if you think about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with this one, I mean, where do we leave off? You know, Dumbledore's dead, so R.I.P. Dumbledore. Um, Snape and Draco fled. Yep. And Snape essentially been, was revealed that he was the half blood prince. So you know, that drives the question: Does that mean that his father is a king? Like, what is he the prince of? Is that just a nickname, or is he actually royalty? Yeah. Is that why he's getting teased. And um, I guess he's probably like right hand man to Snape, or now he's not Snape, right hand man to Voldemort. Voldemort, and Voldemort's gonna probably be real happy. They're gonna get a real clean raise. Well, I don't know. I feel like I don't know, the only redeeming quality for Snape is if he turns the other, or he like you know turns new tide and and helps the Harry Squad because and that pretty much is signing his death sentence. So yep. I for me, I think like I really want to say that there's like a very I ride with Snape either way, whether he's bad or good. But part of me thinks that he's good because I want more on that conversation. And Ember knows what I'm talking about when he was talking to Dumbledore. Yep, I mean, I have a feeling Dumbledore told him to kill his ass so that Draco didn't have to do it. So, pretty much like it's all, he's like, oh, pretty much someone's going to kill me. Maybe Dumbledore already figured that much. Like, some, if, you, if you don't kill me, or if Draco doesn't kill me, then Voldemort will probably kill my ass or Bellatrix or any of these other ass eatings. But um, other than that... I know that you know Harry and the squad are leaving Hogwarts. They gotta go find the other uh, whole cr the Horcruxes. They're pretty much like all the rest of the relics, and then they have like four more left. I still feel like one of the Horcruxes has something to do with Harry directly. I don't know if it's gonna be him as he's a Horcrux or like something of his uh, his belonging, the little Z on his head. I don't know what the fuck, but I just have a feeling that he is something. Like, it's a connected. lightning bolt. <laughs> lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Zoro Z. <laughs> tomato. Tomato. I think maybe that's a Horcrux. Either way, it's bad. But um, yeah, two more chapters. And then that's it. So I feel like at this point, anybody can get it. We might get some major character deaths, but I'm all for it. I want to see how, you know, this uh, franchise can stick to landing. According to you guys, they do. So let's get into it. Glacier, you ready? Yeah, I also want to see if uh, they already shipped Harry and Jenny. Will they ship Hermione and Ron during this first part? Or will we have to wait till part two? But I'm ready. Yep, I mean, at this point, all they, have, they pretty much all but confirmed all they have to do now is Kith. Maybe they'll get a mistletoe scene. I don't know. It's not going to be Christmas time, but maybe. I don't know. But other than that, guys, just take a couple seconds. Hit the like button down below. The engagement does lead to more views. As usual, you can catch a full and watch along to this and much more of our content on our Patreon. By the time you guys are watching this, we already would have had all the rest of the Harry Potter movies on our Patreon. So shout out to you guys for supporting us. And then at the end of the uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2, we'll announce the winner of the second Reaction Dragons Harry Potter combination t-shirt. Um, and yeah, other than that, shout out to our existing patrons. Really appreciate you guys. With that being said, let's fucking go. God. Damn, every I'm the new, newspaper article. I'm the new ministry. Well, can the ministry be trusted now yeah. that they know there's ops within the, the ministry? Mug oh, shit, we got Hermione's home? Damn, we're finally gonna get Hermione's uh, shit, parents? Oh, Come on, Dudley, hurry up! I, I still don't understand why we have Damn. To because... Oh, forgetting that they have a daughter. Oh, shit. Damn. Ah. That's why she's, like, kind of shook up a little bit. Oh, because they don't want any attachments to get killed. Yeah, with too much liabilities. Um, You're just in time for the Olays. And Lucius got broken out there. He is with Malfoy. God, the oh, no. betrayal. God, immediately. Damn. Baltimore, you snaky bitch. He goes, don't worry, I gotta feed my horks. Oh, Gosh, and has Freya's fangs. This shit got dark real quick. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm gonna set the tone for your ass. Meanwhile, let me get it more dark for your ass. Will's here, maybe the dragon will show up. But Hagrid doesn't have a wand. That's the thing. It's kind of... I mean, that's real hairy going there, but... We should have someone that can fight back to wand. Okay, there we go. I'll be here. Uh. 
The Frog King's Death Eaters can just throw, flow through the clouds. They can literally like camouflage the clouds of the storm. Oh, sh Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. God, already? Woo! There are so many of them. Wow. Damn. Oh, Hit shit. The thrusters, Boost. baby. Let's go. Boy, I love those movies just like kicking in no. Hiker from the get go. Yeah, we're not fucking around. Stupefy. Oh, damn. Damn. I don't give a fuck about muggles fucking either. Car chase, let's go. Oh, shit. Damn, Hagger, get back in this air. And you're puckering my ball 12 Gosh. minutes into the movie. Hagger's like, eat me, eat me. Oh, oh shit. Black style. <laughs> wow. Fuck. Let's go. Oh, no. Shit. I told you. It's fucking got sleepy. You needed more security. I was like, I'll handle this. Bitch. Let's go. <gasps> oh, shit. That was Abracadabra spell. Oh, my God. Drop an owl. That was your owl get. Yeah, fuck your owl. Bye. Can't wait to Abracadabra your dumbass. <laughs> oh, no, bro. We lost that clean ass owl after all these movies. That's Harry's owl, too. It's like, shit. And he took a froggy ass fall. Oh, more of them coming. Hey, we heard that your our buddy killed your owl. Mind if we kill you, too? All you ass eaters are going to get the smoke. I swear to God. Well, we just ass ate his owl. Oh, damn. Subconsciously, like... Oh, shit. Damn. Damn, it was subconsciously. But yeah, oh. I don't give a fuck about Lucia's wand. Woo! Let's go. Oh, my God. This movie's going <laughs> off real Fucking quick. hell. Lavolmer's probably going to be so pissed. Your wand sucks ass. This already be, might be my favorite movie. Shit. Yep. Already? <laughs> already. Oh, shit. It's the other brother. Oh, shit. Well, I'm holy. <laughs> that's pathetic. I reckon I'm still better looking than you. Damn. That's probably the most yeah. blood we've seen so far in these movies. They're coming. Well, shit. Bye. Oh, oh, my God. They're coming, like, right now. I mean, right now. Fuck. Abracadabra. Ah, fuck coming. They came. Oh, shit. Shit. Bro, that shit got crazy real fast. They're coming. Like They're coming. <laughs> I was thinking ahead. <gasps> oh, shit. God. Oh, I knew it when they were no, walking in. No chill. Of course. Listen to your music, dumbass. She goes, nope. I don't have to I deal mean, with that shit. You know, nothing you can do anyways, but shit. Undercover ass ears. Ooh, we're full good as Kukas. Oh my god, Shaggy. Oh no, she's you. back again. Ember's god. favorite fucking character, guys. Ah, uh, you have her face on your t shirt when you go to sleep. I know you slept with her Please in high school. Sell the t shirt. Get rid of it. Throw it away. Burn it. Yeah, I know you slept with her. How about Who that? The hell are these? A wannabe Walmart, Walmart quality warriors? You look at the assholes that are in Big, uh, I think Big Daddy. No, not Big Daddy. Miss, uh, Billy Madison, the bullies. The dual rule. Like, what are they? They're like those little bombs in uh, Mario Brothers. Oh, lay. <laughs> oh, your favorite part, Ember. All the kitties got serious black. Serious Dumbledore, Dumbledore, you assholes. Dumbledore's like, hey, I'm still smiling. Like, oh, sorry. The ministry is pretty much ass eaters, especially on bitch. Oh no, it's wearing off. Oh, uh, stupefy that hoe. Boom, bitch. Give me that shit. Or coming down, it's soul sucking time. But Five here you know the spell. And Ron hasn't changed back yet. He's like, sorry, I'm not your real husband. Where's my husband? Oh, he's a sleepy sleepies. Do the spell. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, they can't get through elevator gates. Oh, Good. no. Oh, no. Suck the shoulder through the gate holes. Yeah, we will. Well, I mean, well. he's hiding in plain sight. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hermione, don't get jealous. He's, he's just playing his role. Oh, shit. <laughs> and fucking Voldemort's going to be that pissed. Wait, you had him was, in the grass with your hands and he got out? Damn, real fry. He's like, yeah, you're going to smack me up like that? I'm an official ass. He's like, oh my gosh, get the shit out of my get face. Get shit out of my face. Oh, damn, he's so he fry. He's going to some motherfucker soon. 
Ooh. Damn. Oh, no. Don't get Ryan. I don't like that angle. Oh, no. Ooh, that was clean. Go now. Oh, shit. Damn, oh, no. they're fighting through the portal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn, like, fusing and separating. Fusing. Fuck. Where are they going? Where are they going? Oh, shit. Into the woods. Where the fuck are we? That was crazy. Yeah, Ron comes back like, God damn it, Ron. We're, <laughs> we're so happy right now. You're not here. And it doesn't even look that way. I know, like, the way it looks. It's like, God. Because imagine if you're Ron, you walk back in. It's probably equivalent when, like, when, when uh, Robbie walked in on Miguel and Sam and Cobra Kai. Yeah, it's like, Jesus. You're the worst timing. They're just really good friends. Damn. Okay, get the fuck out of there, guys. Oh, no. Oh, she's changing forms. Oh, she, she's like Minerva. Oh, oh, shit, she's a snake. Oh, no, it's getting real dark real oh, fast. Oh, shit. She found the body. The, the real lady is up there yep. killed. Oh, shit. Oh, Fuck. my God. But who is that? It's got to be one of the ass eaters. I can turn into a snake. Is it Voldemort? The oh, fuck? no. Bitch and rock your ass. Or does Voldemort snake can like change into humans? Yep, can. Fuck you. Oh no. Did you get bit? Dang, I got bit. How have my one ready and out? Oh my. Let's go. Frigo that hoe. Oh shit. What happened to the snake? Did it leave? It, that looks like a sword. Oh, it is. I was just fucking around. Mine you, genius. How the hell did you How? know? What is that? Oh, this is Gryffindor etched on it. Oh no! Oh, shit. I know that's gonna kill me. Just stay away from it. It's like trying to choke him out. God! Oh, shit! That's horrifying. And the ice is getting hard again. He doesn't hurry up. Hurry, Hermione, where are you? You could use your help right now. Dan's like choke tightening him. around his neck. God! It's like I want air. I want air. Give me it. Let me out. Because it doesn't want to be near the sword. Because the sword can destroy it. Oh no! It. So I said I would have took that shit off. It's like give me the fuck away from the sword. <gasps> Who's that? That doesn't like Hermione. Whoever it is got in the water with him. Please. Don't believe it. It's fucking with your head. Don't believe it. Don't oh, believe no. it. Don't believe it. Hermione yeah. prefers you, Ron. Oh, oh my no. god, naked? Yeah. Wow. We're fucking in front of you, Ron. God! God, we're gonna make you watch. This is Froggy! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> froggy ass kiss. Wow. That's just gonna make me kill it worse. Voldemort's an idiot. I would, yeah, that would enrage me too. Holy shit. There we go, Ron. Boom. Woo. That was crazy. <laughs> like, oh my god, naked make out. <laughs> wow. Not just a kiss. We're gonna be naked right against each other, kissing. Oh shit. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Damn. They're coming here. Coming. Sorry. Fuck. Holy shit. Damn. Because I had a snitch. It's my daughter. I'm sorry. Uh, so we gotta find. Three more Volcol Cruxes plus the Deathly Hallows, right? Yeah, we gotta find that one, Elder so One. That's what Voldemort's after. That's what that uh, yeah. Vecna guy had. I gotta find all three so they can. Damn! Destroy the house like nothing. Treacherous little bleeder. Is there no one we can trust? Fuck! Reminds me of the scene of um, X twenty three and Logan running through the woods. Yeah. Also, you see Wolverine. <gasps> I'm like, oh, shit. Like, oh shit. I'm like, what universe is this? <laughs> Fuck, though. We gotta get some cover and we need our wands out. Bro, now. The scale of this movie is ridiculous. We yeah. haven't even been in Hogwarts hardly at all. It's just like. No Hogwarts. The only closest thing to Hogwarts is a train. Yeah. Oh shit. They got Ron. No! They still have a sword, right? Fuck. Turn and fight, man. You're Harry Potter. Let's fucking go. There's too many of them. But you do have that frog ass one that you just got from Ron. Ooh, Ooh, there we go, Hermione. Yeah, Hermione's nothing to fuck with. So that's him as an older, older man? Yeah. The elder one lies with, him. with who? Dumbledore? Oh, shit. Damn, Dumbledore did have two. the elder one. That's why it was the problem. Damn, so that was. Grindelwald is an old man, so, so that Dumbledore is gonna fight. get it. God, that's what she carved into her. Damn, fucking bitch. I fucking hate. You. 
Careful, she will abracadabra the Boom. fuck out of you. Oh, we're going one-on-one -on -one with the mom and the Draco. Damn, he's like, I'll do it. I don't give a shit. Damn. Draco won't do it. Father will do it. Let's go, Dobby. Drop that chandelier. Like it's hot. Eat me. Uh, Bitch. kiss Dobby's elfy ass. Oh no, oh, let's shit. kill Dobby. Don't kill Dobby. Dobby's dead. Oh no. Dobby's dead. Oh shit. Yeah, he's dead. Well, you went out like a G if you're dead. Look at her. Yeah, I got two people now. Dobby. God. After she said, I'm a free elf. She's like, oh, yeah, fuck you. Dude, and Ember. You died free, bitch. Gosh. God, Dobby will go to Dobby heaven. Hold on. Can we close the wound like Snape did? You know that spell? Jeez, what a character arc. Okay. We'll fix it. Uh, Bro, she's the worst. She's the worst. Yeah, Bellatrix is the worst. She's just as bad as Don or Voldemort. Actually worse than Voldemort because she has no honor either. I mean, Voldemort doesn't have honor, but he at least has some dignity of honor. He let Harry grab his wand when he fought, but she has no honor. Well, now she has a new song to sing. I want to bury him. Properly. Without magic. I'm gonna bury him in the beach. I'll watch, now that bitch is gonna be like, I killed Dobby! I killed Dobby! And I killed Sirius! And what are you gonna do, Harry? And what are you gonna do, Ember? Cry about it! We're gonna abracadabra the fuck out of you, Bella, bitch. Yeah, it's about, it's about, it's about that time where I'll use that spell on her. I don't give a fuck. Or at least have her use it on you and then, like, bounce it back to her. Like, we killed your damn self. Congratulations. We <laughs> killed your damn self. Looks so a nice cottage. Yeah. Come visit him when I want to. Come stay at this cottage and come visit his grave. Damn. It was a real one. We met him in Chamber of Secrets, I think, right? It was the second movie. And I remember I didn't really like him that much then because he was working for fucking Lucius. We didn't know. He was kind of annoying, but he grew, as, grew on your ass. As soon as he got that sock and he was free, I was like, oh, good. Yeah, at least he got him out. So his death wasn't in vain because you saved like five lives. Yeah, you saved the one that's going to kill Voldemort and Bella Bitch. Dobby's like, yeah, don't forget that. Don't forget to at least put some respect on my name. First major death. Well, I guess you call Mr. Moody because we didn't see him die on screen, but. Yeah, Mr. Moody, Dobby, Sirius Black. Sirius Black. Oh, shit. What Dumbledore's hell? coffin. Oh, I, bet, I guarantee you it is. It's like, Jesus? Voldemort's here. Like, uh, no. I'm getting that fucking Elder Wand. Uh, I don't give a shit that you're buried here. I'll disrespect your grave. The... You weirdo. What are you trying to kiss Dumbledore while he's dead? Damn, the Elder Wand. The Elder Wand. Fuck, I got the most powerful wand now. Well, hopefully that's a decoy too, but I doubt it. Damn, Double Door yeah. didn't decompose that fast, at least. Looks real as fuck. Authentic. Yeah, and I have the Elder Wand. Is this how the movie's gonna end? And Harry has the Invisibly Cloak. Who has that stone? Oh, shit! Yeah, it's gonna end like that, yeah, probably. Yeah, that's the Elder Wand. Fuck. And wow. that's part one, probably, huh? Wow, well, you're gonna end it on a dark-ass note? Damn right. Holy balls. That might be my favorite one so far, at least until we get to part two, but... Harry Potter... The Deathly Hallows Part 1. Glacier, what you think? Uh, fantastic movie. Um, crazy. I might be up there with Ember. I'm trying to think. The last movie. I mean, uh, this one was going off from the first frame. I mean, yeah, first frame. I think overall movie, overall, yeah, it's probably right there with my favorite. I, I still, if I had to rank everything, okay, this is my favorite movie. Third act still holds um, championship is the... Um, Order of the Phoenix, Dumbledore versus Voldemort. And then most shocking scene out of all the movies is still when Snape killed Dumbledore for me. Um, those are my rankings overall. But yeah, this movie, Ember's not joking around. This shit was balls to wall. I remember even someone saying to me, um, when me and Ember were getting ready to watch this, they're like, yeah, you know, part one, just let you know. It's over. I mean, it's crazy, but part one is kind of slow. I'm like, well, if that's slow, then what the fuck are we in for? Yeah, because we enjoy they enjoyed this shit from the get-go since Sorcerer's Stone. But yeah, this one had like probably the most horror elements. It was the most violent. It was like just the darkest tone overall. Like the way they did yep. the sound editing, just the, some of the shots they picked. The whole the whole last scene with Bathilda's house when they were looking for the, the sword. And then it turned out that the real Bathilda, I'm guessing that she's dead. And the snake that um that 
pretty much Voldemort's snake has the ability to shapeshift into a human. The fucking audacity they have to kill Moody off screen. Yeah, they kill Moody off screen, which I mean, unless he's not, I thought he was going to be in that jail cell because the way that Luna was like hunched over, it kind of looked like Moody from afar, but then she talked to their shit. Never mind. And then the least Ollivander's not dead. And then Ember called it, which I mean, I guess the writing could be on the wall when all the Harrys were Harrys and he's like, oh, one of the Harrys are going to come back fucked up. We're not going to know until they transform back. Sure enough, Fred's brother got fucked up. Or yeah. Fred got fucked up. At least he wasn't dead. Yeah, it was a little holy, as he said. But, but yeah, I mean, so many like, oh my god, just from the chase scene, like when they were all trying to escape the ass eaters from the get go soon, because obviously Snape fucking snitched a plan that they're gonna try to get like move Harry. Yep. So they actually know they knew he was coming. So that shit was tense. We got, and then, uh, you got your woman back in the mix, your sexy grandma woman that you like. Kiss my fucking ember ass. <laughs> Clean ass. Yeah, I don't know. Scary Poppins. You're still a bitch. I'm glad you got stupefied. Or that was the spell she got hit with, right? Yeah, she had, I think I got it, it knocked her out cold, whatever it was. Yeah, it knocked her ass out cold. But yeah, that whole scene where they were infiltrating the ministry was crazy. So I wonder if she was a bitch because of that. Or she, I mean, she already was a bitch, and that just amplified her bitch level. Because yeah, she, she was wearing that shit like it was. It's my. I love this. That's shit. That's the thing. Was she wearing that shit like when we first met her, like two movies ago? Like, like in maybe broad, in broad daylight. It's probably under her shit. Yeah, but yeah. That could be a reason why she was. But she was like a passive aggressive bitch, like even the whole time. That's what I'm saying. It probably just amplified her shit. Just like she was like extra passive aggressive. Like maybe I don't know. if Ron always had some type of insecurities. Maybe like type like a little bit of insecurities. Like every maybe thought like sometimes I mean, Harry. I think what it does it kind of like amplifies what you already like. What other like guilt and fears and insecurities you have inside just amplifies that shit. Yeah, so. like amplifies it times a hundred because Ron. I don't think I think he always knew Harry and Hermione were just friends and then all of a sudden he's like wearing that shit and it was but like, even when like the thing opened up it was it was playing like dark ass to Ron's fear like literally showing Harry and Hermione butt ass naked and making out like frog ass naked I was like <laughs> god damn you savage yeah I was like what you this makes me you think this makes me not want to slice your ass you dumb ass horks yeah even if it was true you're the messenger i'm still gonna kill the messenger you asshole but yeah. the good thing is he knew it wasn't true but that whole scene was like shocking and mind-blowing it was like, oh my i can't believe they're going there with the runs and i mean not to forget about it because at the beginning of the movie we remember the snake eating that teacher yeah but in that scene do you think i have faith in snape because like he looked like I mean, he looks he, like he has, like, he definitely is, like... When he, remember when he walked in and he saw the teacher? He looked like he was like, damn, this looks fucked up. Because she was like, Charity, I think her name was Charity. She was like, help me, we're friends! And so. I think it's the same thing with Draco. Because Draco, I think he knew that was Harry. It's like common sense. Hermione, Ron, hello, like, Draco knows those are the three that I mean, together. I mean, like I said, I've always, get, like, even though Draco is being an asshole, he's being controlled by fear. He has like, to. I mean, what thing. is he Even Lu- I feel like Lucius is almost controlled by fear to accept. Yeah, so you see how like Froggy gets just by standing next to Voldemort. Yeah, you know, he's still like shaky. Like, He'll forgive us. Yeah, so and I think they're, they're just trying to get out of this shit alive. And then, the the day. well, Lucius, I don't feel sorry for you because in the, the day, you're, I don't know what the backstory is. When you made that choice, you probably made the choice for power and now you're in it too deep. It's like one of those things kind of like when we watched um, Arcane, that one cop. We went too deep now. He yeah, had to Mark. protect his daughter. Yeah, but I say Draco, Lucius, and Snape are probably in the Ass Eater squad by fear. The rest of them are just because of pieces of shit, especially or, or Snape was, if he or it could have been by request of Dumbledore. Because remember, he's like, I don't want to keep doing this, Dumbledore. So yeah, so yeah like, maybe, not only yeah, maybe it goes deeper. He did not. Not only did he tell Snape if it comes to it, kill me, but. He had Snape be an ass eater on purpose to infiltrate yeah, like, to be yeah. the way out. Like, yeah, they don't believe you. I need to do this, and that's why he trusted Snape the most. And that's why. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. I'm hoping that at least I'm hoping so. If Snape turns out evil, it's a bittersweet story. It's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, we but, got to um, reveal who Rab was. It was yeah. Sirius's brother, Regulus. Whatever his last middle name was, Black. Which that that completely went under the radar for me. I didn't even like suspect the Black family. Yeah, the last name was B. Down. Like, it be? Yep. And he and that led him down a rabbit hole where they end up finding the real. Obviously, we got touched on that. Who was wearing the fucking their actual watch? What do you call it? A watch? What was it? Is it a watch? I mean, it was, I a necklace called the Horka. Yeah, it was like a pocket watch essentially. But, but damn. But yeah, and then that whole story about the three brothers, like the story about the origins of the um, yeah, the I Deathly Hallows. I wonder if Tim Burton had his hand in it, or the, the, that guy just maybe he had a hand, which would make sense because, like you said, Bellatrix, the actress that plays her, is in a lot of the Tim Burton movies. So maybe yeah. David Yates and Tim Burton maybe like had a and that's why Draco's also scared. Draco's like, I can get a smoke from Voldemort or her. You know, she's on kill shot. She's like, oh, I killed Sirius and I killed Dobie. Yeah, and, and I then, did it right in front of you guys. And we got introduced to Grindelwald, who originally took the yeah. Elder Wand from uh, Ollivander's shop. And we know the actor from Stranger Things season four as Vecna. Yeah. So it's crazy how he got the role here first. Yeah. And, so like, and fast forward, like you're right, he's old as fucking like some insane asylum, or he's in, I guess he's in Ark Asylum, 
That's what I guess rolled over and visited him. He looked like he was in prison. Yeah, he looked like he was in a cell. But yeah, so those pictures of him as like the Vecna actor were like older pictures. So, so I wonder when they come out with that the movie they just came out with when me and Ember, when whenever me and Ember get to it, if uh, the secrets of Dumbledore, if that and there's gonna, a, yeah, and the Fantastic Beasts, we will definitely get to that. But there's a title. I think it's the first or the second one, and I forgot what it's like. Trials of Grindelwald is one of the titles, and yep. then Secrets of Dumbledore. So maybe we'll get more of that back. Because somehow that wand goes from him to Dumbledore. Yeah, so we'll get so. The, probably the backstory of how. Because I'm pretty sure Fantastic Beasts is a prequel already to the harry yep. potter series so I mean, they'll probably be able to go way, way back in the history of it yep. but but yeah and then you have the whole scene yep. where dobby you know sacrifices life which is tragic i mean he yep. went out like a g he went out free he wasn't he didn't die a slave he died a free elf yep and he saved and he harry saved harry and, and everyone else yeah and harry's gonna be ultimately the one that kills hopefully kills bellbitch and voldemort gets two for one yeah he needs to kill her fucking ass and then that scene with the, which I, I'm guarantee, I'm putting like 90%, 99% actually that, I mean, fuck it, I'm going to throw 100% just to get, if I get clapped, I get clapped. I bet that fucking snake is a hork or whatever. And that scene with the snake was scary as fuck with the fact that there's flies and blood on the yeah, wall. Yeah, it was nightmare fuel, bro. That shit was dark as hell. It was probably the scariest season or the scariest sequence in the entire series. But yeah, I mean, I would have to guess because we have three more horcruxes left. And help us out. I remember, obviously, the watches won the ring. Um, the diary. The diary. Tom Riddle's diary. I don't remember what the fourth one is. Maybe that it was found. that. Maybe it was that necklace that that girl wore. That the cursed one, right? Cursed the one. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that was it. I'm not sure, but if it wasn't, then you know, fill us in. But they have three more now. We know that. I feel like one of them is connected to Harry. Um, I feel like the snake. The snake, and then maybe there's one that they just haven't mentioned yet. We know that you know, as far as the the elder one now. Voldemort has the Elder Wand, so now he's gonna be like uber powerful. Yeah, but and now he can definitely kill Harry because that was another thing too. Like the Voldemort's wand, he couldn't use that to kill Harry, and Harry's wand, he couldn't use that to kill Voldemort. It would always be a stalemate. Yep. So at least now that Harry's wand broke. broke, that's kind of a blessing in disguise. Now he can find one or use one that's strong enough to kill. Yeah, Voldemort. Ron gave him one of the Snatchers' wands. That seemed pretty powerful the way he like did the shit with the with Hermione's fire. Because um, I think it's also the person that yields the wand, too. Like, obviously, Voldemort's powerful without the fucking wand, but now the Elder Wand is OP. But I think Harry's obviously, like, yeah, he's chosen one. Yeah. And Hopefully, he, maybe Dumbledore put some kind of spell or curse on it that, like, Voldemort can't really use it to its full potential, but Harry can or some shit. Or wait, what if he can? And it's like, Harry's like, it still doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm the chosen one. Yeah. I'm still going to beat you one way or another. But not without killing those horks. You got to yeah. kill the horks first, or else it's just, he's like, Voldemort's like, live, die, repeat. Yeah. And I guess the other question is tying back to the story of the three brothers. That third brother that has the, that had the invisibility cloak, do you think maybe that's James, uh, his dad, or maybe his grandfather? And that's how it got passed down. And that's the same cloak invisibility that Harry that Harry has now? That's what I'm thinking, too. Because obviously, yeah, it wouldn't be James that went with death because he got killed by Voldemort. Yeah, it wouldn't be James. But you think about it, whoever has that, that third brother essentially could have lived forever. He voluntarily took the cloak off because if you're hiding from death, essentially that means that you don't die. So... It would mean that, you know, that could be possible that could be James' father and he just lived so long. Because who knows how long ago that story takes place. I don't know if they, they mentioned that. Yeah. But he could have very easily lived long enough to give birth to James and then pass the cloak down to James and James passed it down yep. to Harry. So I wonder if it's just like maybe like oh, that's just a legend, the, like the way the story drawn out that you're that you can't die if you have that cloak on because you definitely i still think you can get damaged because remember draco fucking damaged him he's like uh, rude to spy on your people or spy on yeah, your spy on the eavesdropping train. or something like that but, but maybe like to your point like maybe if death can't find you hope it can't kill you of old age so can't see yeah. you. and i wonder if we get an actual flashback not just an animated flashback but an actual flashback of the three brothers that would actually happen maybe we'll get more answers yeah. to actually the true identity of the three brothers because then the only one that's missing because we have the elder one we're assuming we have the cloak invisibility what we don't have is that stone that can reverse death and i don't know if we saw and that it's not the sorcerer stone the sorcerer yeah, stone stone's different that was like a red ruby that i guess it's like an elixir i can um pretty much give you eternal life and turn metal into gold and turn metal into gold but um so but I could it what... possible that that stone maybe is a horcrux i don't know if it could because that would mean that it would predate or it would be like uh, yeah Voldemort, so I, probably not probably but, not i think they just i want to I think that's like think six movies ago. If they destroyed it, they destroyed it. I don't remember them even bringing that in the mix. But if they have it, let's say it's somewhere out there and they find it, could they use that to bring back Dumbledore? Maybe just like a final. Oh, the other stone you're talking battle. about. The, okay, that stone. I'm not not the sorcerer stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, what's the benefit if someone gets their hands on that? I mean, you can at least temporarily bring someone back from the dead. So maybe they can bring Dumbledore back from the dead, and he can he can like at least help in a final battle against Voldemort. It would be my guess. But yeah. 
But yeah, so much should happen. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that we're missing, but we're gonna probably jump right into part two because this shit is getting epic. Like, even though we barely spent any time at Hogwarts, it, it added to the epicness of the skip because we had so many different locations. Yep. Um, there's a lot of like open spaces, like the the spots, like the locations that they pick were like as epic as what you would find in a Lord of the Rings movie. The whole scene where they're running through the woods, pretty much running from those ass snatchers. Yep. Um, everything like everything like the whole movie was just non-stop tension because harry was like fugitive number one he was always being hunted by one ass leader or the other and there you can't go anywhere the ministry's taking over snape's running fucking yeah, uh, snape's hogwarts. Running hogwarts so like all that's pretty much like they're catching elves left and right like ass eaters have the upper hand yeah they got the snatchers on deck there's yeah it's like part two is like they just probably got to get the troops together, find yeah. the other leftover horks, and who knows where the final yeah. battle is going to take place. But I love how this is almost like the Empire Strikes Back of the Harry Potter series, the fact that it ended on a on a bad note. Like, the, yep. Voldemort had the upper hand at that point. You know, Harry Potter squad, we're all taking L's, yep. we lost lives. Imagine in theaters, like, oh, fuck! Not, the yeah, people that see that on day one, like the diehard Harry Potter fans that read the books, yep. watch all the movies, they're on the first opening day. Part two didn't come out for a year later, so you had to sit on that cliffhanger for a whole year. Yeah, you had Oh that, my God. You had Voldemort up showing a shout out and you have to deal with Dobie's death yeah that Dobby's was sad death. as death I was almost about to start cutting onions the way he was talking like, yeah, it's like, gonna be your friend I don't have you on my friends I was like oh my god damn I called it too since that knife was flowing I was like she doesn't miss bro she doesn't yeah. fucking miss she doesn't miss she's a bitch but she's a skilled bitch but other than that yeah I love this movie Final Thoughts Glacier yeah Final Thoughts like you know it's a bittersweet moment we come to this journey but I'm glad you know like kind of like Ember said that we waited to watch this because now we don't have to wait necessarily to watch it we're gonna probably take a little quick lunch break let the camera charge and we're gonna hop back in it and finish it the second part today which i'm excited about that and then that opens the door for us down the road where there's fantastic beasts secrets of dumbledore so in a way me and ember kind of spoiled ourselves by waiting and being patient and we get to watch the dragon squad dragon certified yep absolutely and i mean i don't know what your feelings are on the whole fantastic beast series like just basing off of like whatever screenshots i've seen i don't even really watch any of the trailers i maybe saw the trailer for the very first one like fantastic beasts and where to find them but i still have no idea like what part it takes place what, what characters period, is following yeah. yeah the time period so i don't know if, how you guys feel i mean i guess maybe it's the same thing you felt like with the hobbit series versus the lord of the rings like okay it's not as good as the harry potter franchise but it's still good to live in the same universe i'm sure there's a bunch of callbacks but we'll be our own judges for that we'll definitely check that out with you guys but yeah i mean this this whole franchise is amazing it's definitely getting stronger as it goes along can't wait to see how it all ends dragon certified fucking hit it There you have it, guys. Another one in the books. Real questions. What did you guys think in there in Drive to Land? How does this rank? Do you say that this is your favorite one in the whole series? Or is part two even better? Which I'm that's, that's my guess. Um, as far as that goes, any other Easter eggs or any other facts about either by other either by Grindelwald's identity or you know Dumbledore's history, the story, the three brothers, or anything that we should have known that we kind of missed out on? How are we doing with our theorizing without any spoilers? Um, any Easter eggs from the book readers? Let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you like what you see, you can check out more videos right now. But until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.